Hi guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. And my parchment paper is curling. It's curling. Now watch it curl this way. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's my world. That's my world right there. Nothing ever cooperates. Nothing. So, I'm going to make... I'm going to make... Um, like some uh, background images for um, like end papers. And so this is um, just cadmium yellow. And I am painting this onto, this is photo paper, uh, matte photo paper. I suggest acrylic or watercolor paper, um, which I don't have at the moment. I am out, so you know. It is what it is. So photo paper will curl on you just a tiny little bit, and then when it dries, it flattens back out. So you just gotta, you know, you use what you got. That's what you do. <laughs> so I'm just painting yellow, yellow, yellow on here. Ah. See it curling? It's okay. I will beat it back down into submission with a hairdryer. All right. This um, technique is um, pretty widely known. You've probably seen it before. If you have, if you like painting, if you're a painter um, or an artist, or you know, you probably seen this before this is not my invention whatsoever okay there is our cadmium I am going to go get this dry and then I'm going to go over it with a um, coat of matte medium just real quickly so I'm going to dry this coat of uh, liquid matte medium and then I will be right back here is my my matte medium, no biggie, just do a quick little coating. You could probably use watered down PVA or Mod Podge too. If you were inclined. There's a little fuzzy. Okay. All right. Now this gets a quick, a quick drying, and I'll be back. It's a lot of quick steps. <laughs> so here is our yellow, all um, dry with the matte medium on top, and I'm just going to take some phthalo blue. And I'm going to mix it up with some water because we want it pretty, pretty liquidy. Um, I'm trying to think of a ratio for you here. Oh, I don't know, half and half, half water, half paint. You want it pretty, you want it pretty watered down. Okay. And this part goes pretty fast, so watch this whole video, have your ducks in a row <laughs> before you go out there and, and attempt it. Just getting my brush wa washed off a little bit. Okay, so here we go. And it's pretty liquidy. As you can see, pretty thin, pretty thin. And we're just painting that over the top real quick. Um, not a ton of paint. I mean, it's liquidy, so. Okay, that's good enough. Now I'm going to take a brush, and this is a cup of um, rubbing alcohol. It's just straight rubbing alcohol. 
and you just flick it onto the canvas paper, whatever you're working on, and the alcohol reacts with the um, with the paint on top, kind of eats it away or pushes it back or whatever it is you want to call it, and it reveals the um, the yellow underneath. Kind of makes like little amoeba cells. <laughs> And you can mess with it as much as you want or, or not. And I think that's plenty. And so that's kind of cool, right? I'm gonna go let this dry and I will show you um, after it's dry. Okay, here it is. Isn't it pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? So there, um, like I said, you can try different colors and um, you can use this for um, backgrounds for other mixed media collage type, you know, artwork. Um, I want to use these as some end papers um, inside my books or, you know, whatever you'd like to do. Um, <clears throat> if you Google uh, acrylic paint and alcohol together, acrylic paint and alcohol, um, there will be probably hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of articles, videos, different artists talking about um, this kind of technique. This was a very simple, rudimentary, primary, you know, example, but you can get real complicated with it if you would like. <laughs> but I just think it's kind of neat and um, it makes it makes it a super cool effect that you can use for all kinds of of artworks. So guys, thank you so very much. I'm gonna move, I moved my thing around too much. Thank you for playing around with me today and I hope you make some cool paper. Um, like I said, look at the back. Um, this was just photo paper, um, matte photo paper, but I suggest using uh, paper that is made for painting on like watercolor or acrylic painting. So. So yeah, definitely use the right paper, although this, this ended up working just fine. Um, sometimes you just got to use what you have. And try other colors, whatever floats your boater. Um, you don't have to stick with yellow and blue, you can do whatever whatever color combination you like. Some color combinations will turn out great and some of them will look really hideous. <laughs> so, um, But hideous is in the eye of the beholder, right? So, so do what you want to do, man. I'm not your mom. Please be thinking, um, those of you who are entering the um, Booksmith Classics Challenge, that will be wrapping up next week. So um, get your entries in, uh, get those either photographed or videoed for YouTube, and um, tag me, let me know, make a comment in um, the Booksmith Classics video or something. Email me, you know, contact me at Etsy, something. I'm beginning a list of everybody that has um, signed in so far with an entry and I'm gonna on my next video I will probably make a list of those people so that you can look through them and if you are not on the list but you have done your thing then you can let me know and say hey you missed me you missed me so because um, I don't want to miss anybody and I am already buying stuff and filling up the box, the Happy Mail box, and, um, which is kind of a lot of fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, so yeah, so I will be doing that, doing that as well. So, so be thinking about that and um, get your entries in. I'm almost done with my book. I mean, I'm not in the drawing, of course, but I felt like I needed to make a book for my own challenge, right? So. So I made a book um, for one of my favorite classics. And yeah, all right, I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope you guys go make some paper. All right, see you soon. Bye guys.